Hello everyone, we will continue that topic sub routines and yes, in the previous video, we saw the use of subroutine in one program. Yes, we have so many append statements and what we did rather than going for this much repetitive logic, we simply simply use the smodulization technique subroutine. Now what we will do, we will now go for same to same approach which we followed in terms of function module also. We will go for the example of our order header table and order item table and in that program now we will use the modularization technique subroutine. If I will go for that program, this is our program for that in which we are fetching data from order header table, from order item table, we are merging the two internal tables and then we are displaying the output. After that, what we did, we simply created a modularization technique function module. At that time, we have written the whole logic in the function module and we called the function module inside the program. Now, in same to same program, if I want to go for modularization technique subroutine, we will cover that part now. Now, rather than creating a single subroutine, I will go for three subroutines. I can go for single subroutine also in which in that subroutine, I will write the whole logic based upon input and output. But yes, for the bestest understanding, what I will do, I will go for three subroutines. Why three subroutines? In the first subroutine, I will only fetch the data from header table. In the second subroutine, I will fetch the data from item table. Then I will create another subroutine to merge the two internal tables. Based upon your understanding, you can go for single subroutine also. But to give you more more clarity, how using is there, how changing is there, I will create three subroutine. I can go for single subroutine also in that I can write the whole logic based upon input and output. Now we will create two programs. In the first program, we will take single input of order number and in another program, we will take the range or multiple values of order number and you know that is select option. So we will go for two programs in function module also we followed the same to same approach. So in the first program, we will take a single order number. In another program, we will take the range of order numbers. And if you do not have this program available, no problem. Go to a BAP programming playlist and check what and check the videos of two database table program using for all entries in. So you will find four to five videos there and you can develop same to same program and then you can apply the modularization technique subroutine. But anyways, if you are covering everything in sequence, anyways, you have this program available. Now, rather than changing this program, I will make a copy of this program. So I will click on to copy button. And in that program, we will learn the modularization technique subroutine. So I will write classical report. Okay. I will write classical REP using subroutine. Subs. Classical report, classical report, subroutine, suppose I write. I will go for copy. 
I will select all, copy. I will go for local object. I will activate the program. Firstly, in this program, rather than select option, we will go for single input of order number. So I will comment this as of now. I will cover both the things, parameter and select option. I will take a single input of order number. Suppose P underscore O and O. Type, I will give the data element of the order number. Then we will cover select option also. You will get more and more clarity. Now here, rather than in, we need to use equal to. Because you all know, whenever we have parameter, we need to use equal to. I will comment this also because it is related to select options. Done. So we have a program. In this program, we have written the logic in the continuous manner. We are fetching data from header table. We are fetching data from item table. We are merging the two internal table into one internal table. Then we are displaying the output. Now what I will do in this program, we will use the modularization technique subroutine. Previously, we used function module also. Now we will start with our first subroutine. For this particular part, I will create a subroutine. Just understand here what we are doing in this query. We are fetching data from header table based upon P underscore O and O. So what is your input P underscore O and O and data is going to which internal table LT underscore data. Now compare it to your sub routine. Whatever is your input, you will go for using. Whatever is your output, you will go for changing. In this particular query, what is your using? P underscore O and O because that is input. And what is changing? LT underscore data because that is output. So I will create a subroutine in which using is P underscore O and O and changing is LT underscore data. I can create a single subroutine also, but to give more more clarity, we will go for small, small subroutines so that you can understand, oh, this is using, this is changing. So for this particular part, I will go for a subroutine. So I will go for creation of subroutine. I will write perform. You all know perform is the keyword to create a subroutine. I will write, suppose, get underscore header. We are fetching data from header table. So I gave some name to the subroutine. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. I will go for using. What is your using? P underscore O and O. And what is your changing? We are changing the internal table. What is your output internal table? LT underscore data. Now, I will double click on the name of the subroutine. It will ask me, do you want to create the subroutine? Yes, I want to create. Now, in your system, it might be the include name is coming with Z only, but I have the latest system, so I am giving Z before that. I'll just shorten the name. You can choose main program also. It's totally your wish. I will choose the include program. 
So in that include program, I will get form and end form. Now these are your formal parameters. This is your actual parameter. And have you seen? Never, never mismatch the number of actual and formal parameter. Many people, whenever they will get, whenever they will do the practical, maximum time they will get this error because their formal parameters are not matching with the number of actual parameter. Now, second thing, what I saw, people will put a dot here. Now, in that case, your line is ended here itself. No, you should not put dot here. You should put dot at the last yes. And that's why the, sometimes they are getting the error, error, different number of parameters. Suppose if you will put dot here itself, then in that case, your line is ended here. So what is your number of formal parameter? One. And what is your number of actual parameter? It is two. So you will get the error. So do not put that dot. Your line is ended here itself. Now, but the best conventions we used, always your perform variables will be with PV so that there will be no confusion. Your perform internal tables will be PT. It means your formal variables PV, your formal internal tables PT, your formal work area, you can go for PWA. It's totally your wish. Now, I will go to back button. Now, but the best practice we followed always, this is a single order number. So if you will give the type or if you will not give the type, system will understand. But from the starting itself, we are always going a practice that we will give the type so that there will not be any confusion. So I will give the type to order number. This is the data element for order number. I will write type this. Never mismatch the actual parameter and formal parameter type. It should be same. It needs to be same. Now I will come on to this changing, changing. Now this is a internal table, internal table. This is your formal parameter. Now this is your actual parameter. This is your actual parameter. Actual parameter is a internal table of how many columns? Four columns. So you created the structure of four columns and you declared the internal table. This is a local structure because you created through coding in this program itself. Now, if I will come here, if I will come here, here, if I want this formal parameter to be an internal table, how you can write internal table type table of local structure or global structure. Here it will not accept the local structure. Compulsory, compulsory, you need to create a global structure. And yes, in the previous video also we did same to same thing. We will create a global structure of four column. We will create a table type because it will not accept type table of also. So we need to create a global structure of four column. We will create a table type and we will pass here. And every time we are following this practice, if local structure not supporting, we will go for global structure. Global structure means which you are creating through SC11 transaction code. If type table of is not accepting, you are creating a table type. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we took the example of our two database table program, which we are always using. We are fetching data from header table. We are fetching data from item table and then we are merging. So in that program, we will go for 
modulization technique subroutine. So we make a copy of the program. We made a copy of the program. Firstly, we are going for single input. So we took the parameters and we created the subroutine. For this particular query, we are creating a subroutine. I can go for single subroutine also and I can put the whole logic, but I want to go for more and more examples of creation of subroutine. So we will go for three subroutines. And if we will see this query, in this query, our using is P underscore O and O. Using means your input, input. Changing means your output. Based upon this input, your data is going to this output internal table. So we gave using, we gave changing. Now, perform variable formal parameters. We are always using the convention. PV for variable, PT for internal table. And we gave the type to the order number. In the next video, we will create structure type, we will create table type, and then we will write the logic into this subroutine. So that's it in this video. Thank you.